What's up guys, my name is Idan. Welcome to How Much YouTube channel. Today, for the first time, I'm gonna drive for Uber. I'm gonna drive people around and get paid. And I'm using a 2021 Tesla Model Y. This is the all-wheel drive, 326 mile range Tesla. We're gonna see how much electricity we spend and how much money does it take to recharge it again. And also, we're gonna compare it to a gas car. I'm gonna open the Uber driver app and turn on so I can start accepting pickups and we're gonna start picking up people and see how it works. Let's go. All right guys, we drop off our first customer. I wanted to use the autopilot, but I didn't. It felt like maybe I'm in a, a driving test. That's how it kind of feels like to me. So we spent five kilowatt hours so far and we have 84% battery yet. So we only spent 6% for this ride. All right, let's go. All right guys, we just finished our second pickup and uh, drop off for Uber and we drove 33 total miles, seven kilowatt hours is what we spend. We still have 81% battery. It's about 5 p.m. right now. I pick up a very long distance uh, pickup right now. It's like 30 bucks, I think. We're gonna go ahead and do the longest ride I've ever done so far. It'll be like 30 bucks. Let's go. This is Model Y? Yeah. Yeah, same thing. I got, just, I got a white one. So you, so you also have the white, yeah. Model Y or the Model S? Why? The Y, oh, same one. Yeah, 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 same. You know what's hard about it when I first got in? What? Was the regenerative brake. It took me two weeks. Yeah. And I got nauseous the first drive. Exactly. I got nauseous. I'm the driver. Yeah, yeah. I got nauseous. Yeah, yeah, total. Well, all you do is, is double tap this one. And that's it. What'd you say? You double tap. Oh, okay, that's it. Yeah, that's it. How long have you been there driving Uber? I, I never drove for Uber for people before. This is you, my third person ever. <laughs> Alright guys, I just dropped off my third customer for Uber. Super cool guy, he also owns a Tesla. So we talked about Tesla the whole time. I showed him how autopilot works. I got to drive for Uber, autopilot, and just chilling. That's kind of cool. We drove so far 49.1 miles and spent 12 kilowatt hours. My average is 236 watt hours per mile, which is great. I'm being very, very efficient because I'm being very careful. So now let's continue the ride and pick up more people. Let's go. How much do you make actually? Driving? It's a good question. I don't know yet. It's my first day. Oh, really? Yeah, I never did it before. How fast is like the signing up process of being an Uber driver? It's actually quite a process. It, yeah? was, it took me a long time to get it because you need to get your car to inspection. Oh, okay. Your car. Yeah, but this car. Doesn't matter which car. They were funny. They, yeah. I came there. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't even check it. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you so much for driving. Yeah, no problem. Good luck with your day. Good you luck. too guys. Wow, those guys were so nice and they said they'll even tested a Tesla before they came here. So one guy owns a Tesla, another customer drove a Tesla just before he came to my car. Now we are in like LA again. Um, we're actually kind of far from home. That's kind of what happens, you know. Uh, if I live in the valley, I'm gonna go to LA and kind of get stuck there in deliveries. I still have 70% battery and we drove 57.5 miles. We spent 15 kilowatt hours so far and we are at efficiency of 253 watt hours per mile. Again, very good, actually be below average. So we can do more miles on the same battery by driving nice and safe for our riders. So let's go ahead and accept some more deliveries, see what happens, let's go. We dropped another customer off. It's 6.31 p.m. right now. We drove 72.7 miles and spent 18 kilowatt hours. We have 66% left, so let's keep going. I started around 3.30, uh, so maybe I'll finish at around 11. I'm trying to get eight hours in, uh, like a full shift, to see how much money can we make. It looks really good right now. I got a really short pickup, like it shows a couple bucks. Let's do it anyways. I'm gonna pick up everything I get at this point, just to see how it works. I'm here at the pickup location and the guy doesn't show up. All right, customer seemed to cancel my order. I think I'm gonna get paid for that. You will see it above here, how much I got paid for a canceled order. I just got another uh, pickup. I'm gonna go to the next one. Seems to be pretty good. We have 65% battery, 75.3 miles driven so far. Let's go. So no, thank you guys no. so much for riding here with me. Um, thank you for driving us. Am I okay, Uber driver? So You're far, amazing. So far, so, so good. Five stars and a tip. Play yeah. Britney Spears on Spotify. Let's listen to Sia. Yeah. Or How long have you been doing Uber for? Uh, it's my first day. What? Oh, wow. wow. And you're already doing a TV show? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I'm going to give you five stars and a tip. Thank you. Yeah. I just dropped off another customer. We have 80 miles. Okay, let's pick up another one. 
Uh, we drove 80 miles so far. We spent 20 kilowatt hours. So we have another pickup. This area is crazy. We're in West Hollywood, all right? So this is what you saw earlier is the Abbey. It's gonna be an interesting long night. I still have 63% battery, so we can go for a very long time. Let's finish our shift. Let's go. All right, guys, we just drop off another customer and it's time for me to take a break, to eat something, pee, things like that. We actually drove 93.5 miles so far. We spent 24 kilowatt hours and we are very efficient at 257 watt hour per mile. So very good. We're gonna continue this until my battery pretty much runs out and I still have 57% battery. So we keep going, no problem. Let's pick up orders after my break. Here's my break. This is all my food. It was in the front of the car, in the front boot thing. And um, now I have all the food I need. I don't have to spend money eating out, which is also very unhealthy when you try to eat out in America. So I spend zero on food on this trip, which is amazing. Behind me is McDonald's. This is where I do my breaks for bathroom. I noticed that 7-Elevens, all those already, like they don't open their bathrooms anymore, uh, all the gas stations because of COVID, but McDonald's does have a bathroom. Starting to get really cold here in LA, which means we're gonna have to turn on the heater, which means we're gonna have less range. Unlike gas car, which is not a big deal to turn on the heater, it's a little bit more gas. In electric car, it's like a lot of miles that you lose for heating the cabin. All right, I just finished another uh, delivery. We are now at 113.7 miles. We spent 29 kilowatt hours. We still have 50% battery. It's 9 p.m. right now and we're gonna keep going until 12 and I think my battery will last until then which is pretty impressive. Okay, we finished another delivery. I'm not gonna lie, it started to get pretty sketchy in LA around this time so I'm a bit worried but I'm gonna be extra careful. I'm gonna watch who, who am I picking up? Where am I going? And I'm probably not gonna record any passengers because it's kind of awkward with the light and everything. But we're gonna keep going anyways. So far, we drove 119 miles 0. 0.6 and we spent 30 kilowatt hours. We still have 48% battery. All right, we'll drop off another person. 123.4 miles total, 31 kilowatt hours, 46%. 255 watt hour per mile. I know it's a lot of numbers, but that's what matters to me. I'm trying to figure out how much electricity we're spending and how far we're getting. Now we're gonna continue the night. It's uh, 9.30 p.m. Let's go. We finish another uh, pickup and a drop off. Everything went smooth, everything is all right. Pick up another person four minutes away and it's 10 p.m. Still 41% battery. Let's go. All right, guys, we just finished another drop off and it was two girls. It was awesome. We had a great conversation and they just went out on a Sunday and we have 36% battery left. So let's continue the night and see where it goes. Let's go. All right, we just drop off another customer. It's 10.55 p.m. We are getting near the end right now. Everything seems very smooth. The Tesla doesn't care at all. It's very smooth ride for the, for the people also, so they really enjoy the ride. And I get a lot of compliments, you know? and they kind of get surprised that they get picked up in a Tesla, which is kind of cool. All right, guys, so I did another drop off just now. Let's see our stats, 171.8 miles, 45 kilowatt hours. We have 27% battery left. No problem, we can keep going. It's 11.14 p.m. I feel like I drove 20 people today. <laughs> it's amazing. And then some of them are a little tipsy, some of them are quiet. Every person is way different. Every person is different. Let's keep going until the battery ran out. We just finished another drop off. Wow, uh, amazing. We have so much battery. So we have 25% left. I think people are just tired and I'm, I'm a little bit tired too, but I'm still gonna get this done. I wanna see how much we can make and do some calculations. Let's go. All right, guys, we are almost done. 11.39 p.m. My customers are super happy. I'm probably gonna get five stars and a bunch of tips because uh, I'm nice, I'm opening doors for people. And I noticed something, by the way, people are, like having a hard time finding where the door is. They're kind of like, I see them struggling. Like, How do I open this door? And because I pick up the black one, it's all blacked out. You know, there's no chrome anymore on the door handles. So the door is black, the door handle is black. Maybe I'll put some reflective tape so I don't have to step out and show them how to open the door. So that's something I've seen that I have to keep doing, opening the door for people. I decided to pick up one more person because it's 11.52 and I want to like finish at 12, you know what I'm saying? And then drive home and get home at like 12.30. I don't know when I'm going to get home. And we have 23% left. 
amazing. Let's keep going. This is our uh, last uh, people for Uber. You guys had a good ride? Excellent, oh, yes. And I'm okay, driver. Oh, okay. the best. Well, thank you guys so much and enjoy the night. And I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> yeah. Us too. I've been doing this for eight hours. Uh -huh. All right, bye. enjoy your night. Be safe. Bye bye. All right, guys, we are done for today. My app shows $206.52, but I'm sure you will see a higher number. We have 22% left, and finally, I can be on the freeway and then put the autopilot on. I am back home. We drove 197.7 miles. We spent 53 kilowatt hours and our average efficiency is 270 uh, watt hours per mile, which is actually pretty good because I drove the car like it's a rental on the way home. We actually end up having 15% left. And remember, I started with 90%. All right, guys, we're back home. Let's calculate how much electricity we spend, how much it's gonna cost me to charge it at home. So we actually spent 53 kilowatt hours, but I'm gonna add 20% to that because inefficiencies, it's not 100%, so I'm adding 20%. So that's about 63.6 .6 kilowatt hours that we need to recharge the car back to 90%. In California, we pay about 20 cents per kilowatt hours, so that comes up to $12.72. That's the whole cost for me to drive for Uber with the Tesla Model Y for over 190 miles. Let's take a gas car and compare it to the Tesla. So let's say you do 30 miles per gallon on your car, that's pretty average. We drove 197.7 miles, divide by 30 miles, that comes up to 6.59 gallons, times $4, it's very expensive here in California for gas, that is $26.36, more than double than charging your car. In total, we made $225.52. Deducting the electricity cost, that comes up to $212.80. And we worked for eight hours and two minutes, pretty much eight hours. That comes up to $26.60 per hour. That's pretty good. I'm actually very surprised with this number. I'm sure people have jobs they hate that pays less than $26 an hour, but obviously, you know, there's some limitations. Maybe you can't afford a Tesla. You can make up to $60,000 a year if you work full time. That's pretty good. You're probably asking, what about taxes? Taxes takes everything. Well, when you drive a car, they actually give you a deduction of 56 cents, I believe, per mile. So that's over $100 of deduction. If you eat out, that's deductible. If you pay for parking or the part of your rent that is for parking your car, that's also deductible. All those things that related to your work is deductible, so you can definitely deduct a good amount. But here's the problem. So charging my car in my house takes three days on a regular outlet because it only charges one kilowatt hours and that takes forever, it's not feasible. So you're gonna have to use supercharger, which costs more, or you're gonna have to upgrade your outlet in your house. There is also a way to charge for free. There's many apps out there that will show you places where you can just go and charge for free. If you wanna become an Uber driver and buy a Tesla, I left a link below that will give you a thousand free supercharging miles. That's over $1,000 that you can make for free from supercharging your Tesla. And you've probably seen a few features in my car like the carbon fiber wheel and some other stuff. That's all from rpmtesla.com. Use coupon code HAMUSH20 for the whole website, 20% off. If you have a Tesla, you can upgrade it and they have amazing stuff. I really like the real carbon fiber products. Don't forget to subscribe to How Much and leave a like if you like this video. Comment below what do you think about driving Uber with a Tesla. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.